All right, how's everybody doing today? Back again with another video for you guys and gals. And what I have for everyone here today is just my first impressions of this real quick uh, smart band that I decided to pick up. So this is my first impressions in 48 hours with the Huawei Band 3 Pro. Now, <clears throat> Uh, you know, I just decided to cut to the meat and potatoes this time. So no fancy unboxing, no none of that. Just, you know, me and the device and how I feel about it. So I actually picked this up on Friday. And as of the recording of this video, it is Monday. But you guys actually won't see this video till the following Sunday. So by the time y'all see this first impressions video, I would have owned the device for a week. But still, I wanted to give y'all my first impressions with the device. So that's what this is here. So all I did was throw my phone on the tripod, bump it up to 4K, and push record. So this is my first 48 hours with the Huawei Band 3 Pro. Now, a little bit of backstory before we get into the first impressions. Um, I've said it before on a lot of my videos, I like to exercise. A, a few of the things that I like to do aside from creating content is I'm very heavy into the exercise and personal fitness. I also love anime and then I love to create content. So along with all the exercising that I do, I wanted to get a product that could help me track things better. In particular, I wanted to get a product that could help me track my heart rate better, track my steps better, and track my sleeping habits better. Because um, as of the recording of this video, the main products that I use to do that are my smartphones. And I'm noticing that with my main smartphones and the ones that I'm using to test as of right now, the there's a huge variation between the data that's getting tracked. So, I wanted to pick up something that's a little bit more precise. Big shout out to your boy Altered Tech and your boy C. Butler. I saw their last uh, collaboration video and in it they briefly touched on uh, smartwatches. And then th that got me thinking, why can't I find a smartwatch or a smart uh, wearable that can do all of the things that I needed to do. This way I'm not relying on my phones as much. And I can get some more preci precision data tracking. So I jumped on Amazon. And um, I started looking at a whole bunch of wearables. Didn't really want to get a smartwatch. I'm going to dive into smartwatches a little bit later in the channel. But I wanted to, something, I wanted to get something that can do all those things that I mentioned. So... It needed to be really good at tracking my heart rate. This has a built-in heart rate scanner. It needed to be really good at tracking my steps. This has a built-in GPS on it, independent from my device. All right, and it needs to be really good at tracking my sleep habits, okay? All of which this device claims to do extremely well. It's also waterproof, dustproof, all that good stuff. It's waterproof up to uh, five meters, which I think is like 60 feet. So I can technically go swimming with it and all that good stuff. But it does say that the waterproofing does wear off over time if you continuously use it. And it does say not to shower with it. So this is not something that I could leave on and, you know, just forget about it because I can't take it in the shower with me because it says the soaps that, I, that you use and your body oils can mess up the waterproofing. But I can take it in the pool, but it can only stand so much uh, going in the pool. So I may not even take it in the pool as well. So no water workouts with this one and no shower dips with this one either. But it can stand up to like if I'm doing household work, cleaning the kitchen, taking out the trash. It gets wet. I get caught in the rain during the workout. It could stand up to that. So that's essentially what I was looking for because... One of the main reasons why I use my smartphones is because my smartphones can, hand up, uh, can stand up to that sort of stuff. So my main 
uh, daily driver smartphone is the Samsung Galaxy S8, and it is waterproof, and it can go in the pool with me, it can go in the shower with me, it can get caught in the rain with me, and it will survive. And I wanted something that tracks all this uh, health data and does the same thing. So I found this uh, Huawei Band 3 Pro at a really great price, and I figured, why not? You know, might as well spoil it right now. I picked this bad boy up used from Amazon for about $55 in used like new condition, and it came with everything. It came in the original packaging. It came with the charging cable and the charging clip that you need to power this. Okay, because this is not wirelessly charge enabled. There is a little clip that clips onto the back of this that you plug in to a micro USB charging uh, port and it charges the uh, smart band here. So I just want to get that stuff out of the way. Now we can dive into my first impressions. So as I've said, it's been roughly about 48 hours with this smart band. And I got to tell you guys, um, I'm really liking it. Now, the fit, because that's probably the most important with this, is really, really nice. I got a nice, comfortable fit. Now, it does have the raise detection. So all I have to do is raise my wrist or flip up my wrist, and the screen will light up. So y'all can see the screen was off. I flip my wrist, and the screen lights up. So that's really, really nice. And then it has all the stuff that I need. It is a touch sensitive Super AMOLED display and I can sync different things to it. So I can do my messages. So like uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, YouTube Studio. Uh, I could track my different workouts. So as y'all can see here, we got all different types of workouts, outdoor running, outdoor walking, so on and so forth, cycling indoor cycling, swimming, all that good stuff is here, okay? Free training, all that good stuff I could do here. And it is a touch-sensitive display, and it does have sleep tracking as well with a really good heart rate sensor. So everything that I needed out of a uh, smart wearable is here, and it's really, really nice. The fit is good. The feel is good. I like the uh, software on the device and the battery life, okay? I don't usually like to touch on battery life so soon, but it has been 48 hours, and I gotta tell you guys, in that 48 hours, I just took it off the charger uh, less than an hour ago, so it takes about an hour, to, no, it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to reach a full charge, and yes, that means that it, you will get at least two days on a charge with this uh, wearable right here. So that's really, really good. So my overall first impressions with the Huawei Band 3 Pro is really, really good. Now, there are a few things that you will have to know when you start using this. Now, out of the box, the band comes powered off. And in order to get it to turn on, you have to plug up the charging clip and then plug in plug it into power, and then once the band gets power, it will turn on, start charging itself, and once it's fully charged, you can begin using it. So there is that, okay? And again, it does take a standard micro USB charging cable to charge this. So if y'all was worried if you're gonna need some type of proprietary connector, don't worry about it. But yeah, um, I'm gonna take my time with this full review. I'll probably use it for about a month and we'll go ahead, when we do the full review, I'll get into everything that y'all need to know with this bad boy here. So we're going to go over the build quality, the design, all that good stuff. It does have a companion app, and we'll get into that as well. So we'll get that nice in-depth review that a lot of my followers are used to seeing. Y'all are going to get that on this device. That being said, if you guys and gals enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, shape, form, or fashion, please help your boy out and give the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more content like this, as always, you feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you guys and gals get notified when I publish new videos. 
If this video piqued your interest, y'all know what to do. Down below in the video description, you'll find all the links to where y'all can find this product here at some really great prices. So interest is piqued. Down below in the video description should be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals, and you should be good to go. That being said, this video here today was recorded with the rear-facing 12-megapixel camera on the Moto G7 in 4K resolution at 30 frames per second with no external microphones hooked up. So please let me know what you think of the overall video quality and the overall audio because everything is coming from the onboard cameras and onboard microphones on the Moto G7 itself. Alright, I hope everyone has a great day and I will catch you guys and gals in my next video. Peace everyone. <laughs>